What? Hello everybody, I am the Rookie Critic and today I'm going to be doing a walkthrough on how to live stream using Google Hangouts. So first of all, you need to go to your YouTube channel, which I've done here, and you go on the top right icon, at the top right of the screen, and you click it, and you go to My Channel. And then you go right to the Creator Studio button right here on the right side of the screen as well. Once you're in the Creator Studio, you'll see quite a bit of things right here, but you just need to direct your attention to the left side of the screen under the Creative Studio mark, and then you'll go under Video Manager, which is what you should already be at if you just go straight from my channel to Creator Studio, and then you've got an option for live streaming, so click Live Stream. And then right here, it'll, get, it'll give you a lot of stuff on this screen, but don't worry about it. There's a lot of stuff on here that just you don't really need to do. These are for other methods of live streaming, but I'm just showing you how to live stream using Google Hangouts. Now, if you wanted to change a thumbnail to whatever your video is going to be and what you want it to show if you're waiting and if you scheduled it already, then you could change your thumbnail right here. When you click that, it'll open up files for you to choose from on your computer, which if you wanted to make a custom thumbnail, which is what people will click on when they see your video, you can make that and then upload it here, and then people will see that when they see your video. But then, your next step in the live streaming is to go over to the left again, right under the live streaming, it gives you three options. It says stream now, events, or camera. Now camera is a different way to live stream, which is pretty simple, but that's for a different video. Right now we'll just click events. Now I already have a, an event already created here, but we're just going to ignore that for the moment. If this is your first time setting up a live stream, then this area will be blank. So you would go to the right side of the screen where it says new live event. And then this page gives you some options to fill out some basic info. So of course if you wanted to title your live stream, you could just say how to make, oops, make, oops, I'm not the best typer, make a live stream. And it gives you the options to schedule when you want to do it. You can pick any day of the month you can schedule it months from now if you would like and sometimes when you're doing this just make sure that you have it set to the proper day because sometimes when you click it it will say that it's changed but then when you go out of it it might not have changed so if you do it twice though it seems to always work and then it gives you the time to change what time it is 12 a.m. to 12 p.m. whatever you want if you wanted to add an end time you also have that option if you don't want to stream for more than one hour or two hours then it will cut you off if you add the end time but otherwise the live streaming will allow you to go for at least or for at most eight hours and then you have some options to put in your description of your links if you want. If you have guests on your channel, then you can link them here. Or if you're talking about a certain topic, this is the best place to put the links to those so that people that are watching the video can click on them as well and follow along with you. And then the section down here is for putting in your tags. Now tags allow people to find your videos easier. They come up uh, under the words that are searched under them and are just a little easier way for people to find your video. And then what the next important part is to go over to the right side of the screen and make sure that it is set to public. If it's set to private or anything else, then it will not go live directly. And make sure that the quick using Google Hangouts on air is on because otherwise if you have the custom one on, that's for some of the more complicated ways to stream, which I mean, I say they're complicated because I haven't done them. Maybe they're easy, but for the average person, I would say that the Google Hangouts is a simpler route. So make sure that the quick time is highlighted and then you'll have the option to either go live now because I didn't set the time for later. I set it for right now. And if you set the time, then it will say create event and that's what you would click and since I already made my thing I'm just going to show you the page that it would show right away after you clicked this button so pretend I clicked it 
All right, now you see we're back in the events section. So it was this would be blank, and then if you created your event, then your event should pop up right here. And it gives you a few options. If you wanted to do something before you go live, you can go back and re-edit the basic info where if you screwed up on the title or you forgot to link something in the description, this will allow you to go back and change anything. And, you know, that's always pretty handy. And what you'll need to do is, if you want to go live again, you'll go to Start Hangouts on Air. But let's just say that your live stream isn't for another couple of days or for another couple of hours. If you were to leave this page right now, you can always come back to it by following all the steps that I did all the way up to Events. Going to the Events page will bring you right here, and this will be saved for you right here. And to, in order to go live, you, you would want to click on the Start Hangouts on Air. Your camera will pop up, obviously, and right here in the top center of the screen, you have the option to turn that camera off, which is what I'm going to do because I don't like the quality of this camera right now. Boom. All right. And then your icon will be the main thing. And as you can tell, as you talk, there is a little bouncer of the wavelength that kind of comes off there. And all right. Now we are on to the important part of the live streaming section. Now that we're here in the Google Hangouts room, this is where you can start prepping for your live stream before you go live. But before we actually go live, I'm going to walk you through this layout here right now. So in the top right corner, you'll see that we are off air. If it says that we're on air, then we're live. But that should never happen as long as you do not click the start broadcast button that's located on the bottom center of the screen. And of course, in the top center, you have the options of there's a little person with a plus sign that allows you to invite people. There's a picture of a microphone, which when that is highlighted means that your microphone is muted. Just like how my camera is muted right now, if I turn it back on, then the camera will be back on me right now. But I am a little shy at the moment, so no. And then right here, you can adjust your bandwidth. And then right here, you have some settings to adjust if you have a different microphone that you use or you have a different camera then you can choose which microphone or camera you want it to do and also I forgot to mention if this is your first time using Google Hangouts like this then your computer might ask you to allow it to access the microphone and camera and of course you would allow it to or you can choose from there which microphone or camera to select because some people use a Logitech camera or a different type of microphone. If they have a Blue Yeti microphone but they want to use a Snowball, then you have the ability to switch that out. And then over on the left side is where you have the main controls. So right here you have the control room, then you have the cameraman, and the screen share function, and the group chat. I'm going to invite a person in here in a little bit to help go over what some of those do so you can see it yourself. But I'm going to show you at the moment that if you wanted to do your settings with the control room, a little section pops up on the right side called the control room. And if I had other guests with me right now, then they would all lay down right here. Now the maximum amount of guests that you can have in a live stream on Google Hangouts is nine guests. So including yourself, that is 10 total people. And it gives you the option to control what these other people do. So you are the main host. That means you are the master of what happens to all the people in the panel. You can mute them, you can turn their camera on or off, and you can turn their volume up or down. If, they, if you can't hear them as well, then you can turn their volume up and just adjust it a little bit, but I don't really need to. And as you see right here, a little window pops up on their screen to let them know that their camera or microphone has been altered in some way, which is handy so you know they can't just sneak up on you and do something when you're not expecting it. So that's a good little handy window. All right, so let's go back over to the section over here. Let's click on the cameraman. That is an option that I never use personally because I don't need to have any default functions. I have all of my broadcast settings set to no because this, if these were selected on, then immediately when I invite people, they would be muted or they would have the video shut off so their camera doesn't work. And that happened on a live stream of one of my buddies recently on Abu Nas's stream. And that took us like an extra 30 minutes to finally figure out how to set it up and, you know, make it so that all the guests can come in and speak. <laughs> so I've tried to avoid that one. But if you have some loud people coming in, maybe this is a good option for you.
All right, and then I'm gonna click on the screen share button over here, and it's pretty self-explanatory. The screen share button will share your screen, so I'm going to click screen share. And yes, it does do a very warpy, weird thing right here, but that's okay, because you don't need to see this part of the screen. I'm going to go back to where I was on the internet. So, okay, now people would be able to see my screen. Anything on your screen, people would be able to see. So if you have something super private, make sure that you do not show that. Make sure that's hidden away or something so that people don't see it. But if you have like an article on the internet that you wanted to read or some type of picture you wanted to show, an image or a video, you can show it there. But when you are the host, your audio from your video that you're showing will not come through. So if you have a YouTube video that you wanted to show everybody while you are live streaming, it will not play the audio. Sometimes if you are a guest though, then, you, then your audio will come through. But that's for in a little bit. And also you have the option to stop screen sharing at the very bottom of the screen. So as soon as I click the stop sharing, then nobody will see my screen anymore and it will just be back to normal. So let's go back to the window and here we are. Now we're back to normal and I'm going to invite a person in here before we actually go live. We are going to go live during this video, yes. I'm hoping that my recorder is still working and I'm not wasting all of our time, okay? It seems to still be going and hopefully the microphone will work while I'm doing this.